You're right, guys, it's Hail from Fire Four Peak, so I'm going to do the deck where I find Goku Black. So, Goku Black is a set 2 leader. Uh, once per turn, if you have 2 more blue AG, choose 1 card in your life, place it in your AG. At the end of your turn, choose 1 of your AG and place it in the drop area. We have 4 less life, draw 2 cards, flip it over. Uh, it's very effective. Draw your turn if you have 2 or less life. This card gains 5k power and door strike. And also when it attacks, draw one card. So let's get the easy bits out of the way first. I got 4 sensor bead. Self explain a bit. Turns to really. Four dimension magic, where it's best blue the gates. Now it is going to be a blue yellow build, um, so I run three frost deadly poison, very underrated card. Basically, for three AG, the bar card your opponent's been play is played in rest mode, and it skills to get negated for the turn. Uh, I draw one card, and if I'm about three or less life, draw a card. Uh, very also from the red card. Time ring. Now what I get to do with this, Turgy, look at the top ten cards, pick a Goku Black or Zamasu. Uh, if I've got four more energy, I, I add two to a hand. Four plan destruction. Quite simple really. Uh, if there's seven energy between me and my permanent, uh, I get to put it in the AG recipe where I use it as a combo piece. Now, as for the super combo, it is for Halis. I, I would probably not use any other super combo with this deck. So it's draw two, or uh, drop one, draw two. For the base, you check land. Uh, don't really ever play him. Now, the next card should be at three, but might keep at two. Is this card. Secret Desire Zamasu is uh, for one drop, you play him, draw a card, and then he's also in the gate for one, I believe it's yellow energy. Oh no, choose one yellow card in your hand and place it in the drop area. Choose one of your yeah, yellow energy and switch it to rest mode and place this card in the drop and negate the attack. Uh, use it a few times, nothing too major. For Guasu, he can search out every battle card apart from one. Also, Tyreek searches out 95% of the deck, and I'll never whiff from that either. To Champion the Trickster, I, I might take him out, it's very rare I use him. Four of the Zamasu Mastermind, it is just free blocker, my leader, if there's a Goku Black in play, or my leader. I believe it's Goku Black, so always going to be free. Uh, card, four copies of Goku. Um, you can't add to destruction. Quite simple, when I've got five or more energy, he's a uh, free play, you draw a card. I run three George Full Strike Goku Black Rose. Quite simple, uh, I play for six. If my opponent's got no response, I take two life and I can boost that up to six energy. Now that's very fun and key. Because if I need to, which more times I do once I've got four life, I, I try and keep there, or maybe three life, try and keep there as much as possible. Because a lot of people forget he gains uh, 5k double strike when I'm at two less life. So I'll cut myself thing and then I can evolve into this guy. Which is very oh, shiny, sorry. Unstoppable Desire Goku Black Rose. Now, when he's evolved into play for seven energy, um, I can choose up to three of my opponent's energy and send them to the drop. So, that is very nasty because you can pick active energy as well. So, you can drop near the gates or that. And he's a triple strike. So if they're at 5 life, I can go swing, they take 3, and then swing with leader for double. 
Next up is one power intern fire force fuse Sabasu. Um, originally this was meant to be at two, but I don't have a second copy. <laughs> um, basically you evolve over a Goku Black, well sorry you tore over Goku Black in Zabasu for eight AG. He is indestructible, so he's very hard to get rid of. And when he attacks, it doesn't matter if it's battle card or leader, you choose one of their battle cards, a card from hand and energy, and place it at the bottom of the deck. So that that's fun. Uh, like I said, it should be two. Might keep it at one, because I'm running some else in it. Uh, and the card I am using is the Secret Ray Tara. Uh, obviously, if there's six or more of your opponent's cards in rest mode, he's a five drop. And then I get port four cards in rest mode and draw four. Obviously, if there's no uh, point in rest mode, I still draw the four. And again, he's a triple strike. So, what's that fun? And the recently added card is from set nine, is the hit. The only card I cannot get with Gawasu or anything. For every amount of blue yellow cards you have in play, you reduce its energy by one. So you only need four cards. A lot of my guys play out for free. And when you play him, you put your leader's your opponent's leader back to its unawakened side. And they cannot awaken until the end of their next turn. So um he's also triple strike. So if you can put them back on the awakened side, then you've got a 20k double and a triple K uh, strike. Uh, I put him in today and I'll play him out uh, against the new Geo leader. Uh, I won because I put him back to Unawaken before attacking. Attacks with leader, drops two Sensu Bees on him, and then play the Secret Ray. Yeah, that's very nasty. Um, so I have about three or so different wing cons. I've got obviously the hit, the um, fusion, and this guy. But if it needs me, I've got this guy. So I've got like four wing cons. It is very silly. Um, I draw a lot of cards. I play a lot of cards for free. If the rumors are true about set 10, the deck going up 60, because it is somewhat tight for space, um, I'll add four cards. It'll be the two drop Goku Black that adds you the field card, and obviously to the field card. Because I play a lot of Goku Black and Zabasu, I'll get blockers for days. It's very consistent. Um, I, I seem to draw a lot. I, I see every piece I need. Especially these, you know, I would like one of each of them, I always see one of them. Yeah, and other side deck choices, if you don't obviously have these, you can have the set one Beerus. Um, basically, if they do not drop two cards from their hand, you nuke their field. Um, but I believe he has to attack the leader. Yeah, when, so he has to attack the leader, he's also a triple strike. Um, so the, they've got to drop two cards or they lose the field. Or there's the five drop Beerus, which is when he attacks the leader, your opponent has to drop um, cards up to a total of energy cost of six. Now, it's our battle area, energy or hand. I don't, no matter what anyone says, if they say, no hand, um, no rare targets in hand. But there is the energy and battle area. It's not one or the other, it's choose from all three. Uh, when it first came out, there were people trying to say, oh, it's one or the other. It's not. It is one, it's from all three areas. So, no matter what, if they've got no on the battlefield, you can see their energy. So you've got to make, so they have to lose energy. It is very fun because obviously the idea of the deck is to uh, make him have no energy. Uh, <laughs> Bald Ash with his bomb deck. Um, I, I played two of these on him and I was not attacking his leader. 
I was not attacking Bulma at all. So he was only drawing one a turn. At that time, he didn't run Birthday Party. He runs no self awakeness. So I'm just there poking at his battle cards, making my plays. Because obviously, the only um, AG ramp card I have is. What is it? The Plan of Destruction. But if I go second, which is ideal, by, by their turn four, this is live. So if you, you always hold on a good for at least one of these and a dual colour card. Um, obviously, you, you want to get as in front of AG as possible, start playing all your guys for free. Because the Goku Black that um, plays for free, where you play him, if you can only play one for the turn, you draw a card. So, yeah, y you want to try to get to five as much as possible, because then you start seeing all your big guys, um, then your time rings active, and you will always, always get two, because top ten cards, by about, what, turn four, turn five, it's half your deck. You, you will never ever miss on the top 10 so that's why I run only two I, I see it plenty enough um, Frost Deadly Poison I might drop down to two it is very handy um, I must admit um, very rare I play it though because it is for free energy obviously Matt has not seen this yet and he showed you his um, Goku's The Master build but I have said to him no matter what, I will always lose to that deck. Just because of his um, 8 AG effect, unfortunately. With this deck alone, um, because I ran. Um, by, like I said, turn 4, I'm live. Very much live. Um, or by turn 3. Just because of playing Destruction. And then once you get to 4 life, or 3 life, you want to heavily defend. Just so you can play the six drop Goku for Goku Black for free, take two life, and restart six energy. Because then, if especially if you've got this guy for free, you can play him for six, obviously if they don't stop him, untap or six, then evolve this Goku, this Goku onto this one. Then you've got your leader double strike, a triple strike and a double strike to deal with. Plus, they're probably on like three energy, which are probably untapped, uh, are tapped because you've got rid of the untapped ones. Always, always get rid of the untapped ones. If not, you're just silly. I am working on a Gohan reboot leader because most of my guys know when he comes out set two, I I've always liked that leader. Uh, I've tried to make it work in virtually every set. I got there. Obviously, if you scroll past further videos, um, there is one I did. Obviously, now with the reboot leader, uh, yeah, it is more powerful. Uh, I I've built one tonight. Um, it is not ready for showcasing yet. Um, I I've played a few games. Uh, I lost to the Joe leader because. Obviously his effect is he can't take damage and his universal evidence in play. Could not get around that. Um, but my turn two, I got him down to three life, turn two. But if it wasn't for his um, awakened effect, um, yeah, I, I would have him. So look forward to seeing that build. Uh, I know Matthew Haley is also running that Gohan leader because it's so good. Um, I don't know what build it is yet, I've not seen him in weeks due to work issues between us. Also a big shout out to our video editor, she is doing an amazing job, <laughs> uh, all for free, as we know of. Lee has a very special woman on her hands there, very talented. And if you like what you see, like, comment, share and uh, look us up on Facebook at Final Four Freaks. See you later.